Welcome everybody to a new series of guides for X3 Albion Prelude. Uh, Wilfie here. Uh, from some feedback that I was getting from my first series on this, um, one user in particular named Michael uh, pointed out that even though I did the merchant start, I didn't actually do a whole lot of merchant type stuff. I ended up flying around doing missions and shooting people. So, I uh, realized he has a very good point, so we're going to try this getting started guide a little differently. Uh, the original series is going to continue. Uh, I still have to figure out exactly what I'm going to do uh, in the next few episodes of it, but I figured we'd kick this one off too to demonstrate how to be uh, a wealthy, rich, and famous merchant using the humble merchant start uh, by actually trading. So we're going to uh, kick off a brand new game here and we'll get started. Now, I'm probably going to skip through some of the game mechanics fairly quickly here. If you're looking for a getting started guide for X3, uh, for general uh, gameplay and that sort of thing, you're probably going to be better off watching at least the first few parts of my original getting started guide. Having said that, I may cover some uh, boring territory a little bit more than you than uh, you're hoping for, since if you've watched the uh, um, original series. But um, I'd like this to be at least a little bit gentle uh, for getting new players into the game. So we're going to start with the Humble Merchant start. Same as we did the first time. I'll skip the cutscenes because those uh, just slow the game down for us. Now what Michael suggested is that instead of selling the Discoverer that you start with, uh, in addition to the Mercury, uh, do the opposite. Wait a minute, I completely reversed that. Instead of selling the Mercury, like I did, sell the Discoverer. That makes more sense. Uh, the upshot of that is that even though you've got, uh, you're left with a very slow ship, you're flying a machine that has lots and lots of space. Argon, Flight School, Nova. All right, so here we are in game. We're gonna set up just a few interface and gameplay settings to make life a little easier for us. We'll start with graphics. Uh, I want to set the field of view a little higher to actually max it out. That way we can just see more to our left and right. Gamma's fine, everything else here is fine. Um, one comment that was made is that I tend to blast through the keyboard shortcuts without telling anybody what I'm doing. So we'll do some basics here. In any menu, the escape key will close it, just like that. Uh, there are keyboard shortcuts plastered alongside most of the commands in the game, like here for save game. Saving is only possible when docked at a station or by using salvage insurance. What she said. But assuming you can, you're in the right circumstances to save, it's Shift S to save a game, Shift L to load, and the menus. Saving is oh, only shut up, Betty. When docked at a station or blah blah by blah using blah blah. Salvage insurance. Anyway, yeah. So most of the menus show the shortcuts if they've already got one. R for my property, P for pilot status. Two very common keystrokes that you'll get used to using is the period, which opens the system map or the sector map. Escape to close this, of course. And right next to that key is the comma, or the less than symbol if you will look at it. And that's the universe map. Right now we've got a whopping one system on our map. Inside any map view, including universe or sector, the end key, E-N-D, zooms out. The home key zooms in. I like my universe map zoomed out just so I can see as much as possible. We'll demonstrate that more usefully on the sector map. There's a zoom out, we'll zoom in. The sector map lets you zoom pretty far, actually. Okay, so that should be a good enough uh, keyboard primer for now. Uh, I'll keep introducing keystrokes as I go. I'll try to call out what I'm pressing when I do it, and I'll try to slow down through the menus for this for our first couple episodes here, just so I don't uh, lose people too quick. Right, so we are inside a Mercury. Oh, the arrow keys, incidentally, uh, are the maneuvering keys on your ship. That's important to know. Up, pitches forward, down, pulls up, you know, pitches backward, or pitches up, 
left and right, steer to the left and right, and so on. Now, we're going to sell our uh, Discoverer, which is in orbit or hanging out near us. If we hit the sector map, we can see it listed here along the among the ships. I'm going to set him to follow us. And to do that, we use the command console in the orders menu. The shortcut for this, when you've got a ship selected or any object selected in the sector map, is the letter C. If you notice, it's hard to see probably, but there's a number next to each command at the top of the screen here, at least, in the top of this menu. Uh, one is for navigation, two is for custom, three for none. That tells a ship to do nothing, by the way. Stops whatever it's doing and sits still and waits for you to give it more instructions. Uh, we're going to be using navigation, of course, but eventually this command console will fill up with lots of sections of commands as you add uh, software and features to your ships. So for now, we care about navigation. All we want it to do right now is to follow us, or follow me, so I'll tell it that. Command accepted. Hit escape to get out of that menu, and escape again to go back out to our main screen. I just pressed the tab key to set the ship's acceleration to maximum, and set its speed to max. The Mercury tanker doesn't move very fast at all, I think its max speed right now is going to be about 60 something. It can be boosted up to about 100. But uh, yeah, 75 is as good as it gets. I'm going to next use CETA, which I forget what the uh, acronym stands for, but CETA makes time compressed so that uh, things move a lot faster in the game while you're waiting for slow, boring stuff. The key for that is J, and you'll see very quickly what it does. Notice how things are moving quicker, and we're closing this distance towards this southern gate here a lot quicker. Oh, nuts, I forgot to set the... Uh... Yeah, let's do that. Under gameplay options, I totally forgot this, we need to set Sita to 10 instead of 6, which makes things even faster. We're going to turn off auto-saving in stations. I'm going to turn off confirming when ejecting, because that's not a big deal. Disable war reports. I want numeric shield displays. And we want the game to run in the background. The rest of this stuff we can leave alone. Anytime you hit escape, by the way, it kills Sita, so you have to start it up again. And that's just J. Uh, there are other ways to turn off CETA. You can press J again, of course. You can also navigate your ship, or uh, press up, down, left, right, change your speed, um, hit escape, open the sector map, and try to communicate with a station. Um, basically, anything that involves changing what's going on in the universe, or hitting escape, will turn off CETA. It doesn't cost anything to run. Uh, and it doesn't hurt anything, so you're, you're always free to run it. The autopilot is a little bit dumber when CETA is running, so there is a minor risk. Go watch episode 5 of my Getting Started guide to see uh, the risk. Always a risk that your autopilot will just fly you straight into a station because he's a moron. And that risk goes up when you're in uh, CETA. It really sucks the first time it happens. Now, our ship only has a, uh, a simple scanner, so we have to get really close to objects before we can actually scan and identify them. We'll fix that soon enough, but for now we just have to get close enough to this shipyard right here so that we can uh, get a targeting reticle for it. There we go. Now, I'm going to jump back into the sector map and tell my discoverer to dock there. He's faster than I am, so he'll get there before we do. We both have to dock at the same space station. Actually, yeah, we do, because I want to upgrade this ship anyway. Uh, right, so I'm going to tell the Discoverer to dock at my target, which I just selected by clicking on it, and that's the shipyard ahead of us. Now, I also want to dock here myself, so the command to do that is Shift-D. Now, the autopilot will take over flight, and hopefully will line us up for a docking maneuver. Or it'll just turn around and go flying off into space. Welcome to the stupidity of the autopilot. He's just going to wobble around now for a while. 
Oh, wow, he actually turned around. Cool, he's not as drunk today as normal. Wow, someone turned hostile. Didn't last long in this system. That klaxon you just heard is the ship warning you that somebody who is hostile to you just entered your sensor range. That can be okay, or it can be really bad news if he means to kill you. Okay. Docked. On behalf of our president and senator, the Argon Federation welcomes oh, you, you know aboard. What? We need to turn off in the audio damage. section, turn off for both ship computer, turn on subtitles, and disable station announcements, otherwise things get annoying. Okay. <clears throat> Anytime you dock, it's a good idea to save your game. That's Shift S. I'm just going to overwrite my oldest save, no big deal. Uh, oldest from this series, anyway. Let's do... Oh, let's just use this slot down here. Number 10, why not? Okay, now we want to trade, and that's D. Again, D is overloaded pretty heavily. Usually means trade or dock. So, hit D, and we want to sell our Discoverer. Notice we cannot sell our Mercury, because we're sitting in it. To sell a ship, you press the left arrow when you've highlighted it, because there's one ship and none in the market. We want to move it from right to left, so that's what that key does. Discoverer. Now we're just left with our little, so, with, well, our big Mercury. Now as you make your first few trades, you're actually going to get promoted pretty quickly within the Argon Federation, and that's a good thing because that means you can start buying ships and eventually stations. First thing I want to do, though, is upgrade the Mercury so that it can move faster and turn quicker. That way we can actually start making some decent trades with this thing. We're not going to expand the cargo bay yet. We can't afford it anyway. So let's give the engine some tuning. Engine tuning. And rudder optimization so we can steer better. Rudder optimization. All right. Now we can also add a duplex scanner, which is probably a good move. That way we can scan things a bit further duplex away. Scanner. We'll get a triplex Install. scanner later. A boost extension, oddly enough, is also very, very useful. That can help us move quicker. Boost extension. And the only Install. other stuff we care about right now... Uh, let's do the trading system extension. That lets us see station. how much things are selling Install. for in any station that we're within range of, instead of having to park there uh, to see in person what their prices are. There's lots of other gadgets we can add to the ship, but for now, this is good enough. A shortcut when you're parked at any station, if you want to undock, you have to click this button over here. It says undock right there in the lower left corner. But if you hit escape, by default, the undock button becomes the selected active button. So just hit escape when the uh, station menu is open, and then press enter. And boom, you're free. Another set of movement keys that are fairly useful in the game are the uh, WASD keys. Those are strafing keys. Uh, when you press S, you move down. W moves up. A and D move side to side, just like in a... Uh, regular first-person shooter. Okay, now we've set up our ship as best we can with the little bit of money we have. Very next thing we need to do is start making some trades so we can come up with some cash and start upgrading our ship more, get better reputation, and eventually start making some good money. We're going to fly back over to Heron's Nebula, fly all the way through it again to the north one more and go into a system called Power Circle. There's a bunch of solar power plants there, and there's a bunch of stations that use power. These are some of the simplest trades you can make in the game, and for a start, since we you know, we have about 10,000 credits, you can make between 40 and 60,000 credits worth of profit per run, and each run is pretty quick. So instead of staring at a stock market screen for hours on end, you're actually doing something in the game and improving your rank and making money all at the same time. So nothing wrong with doing a little bit of uh, your own cargo flights. 
Now you'll notice that some of these stations as we pass them have little icons like this light bulb icon. That means think. There's a thinker mission attached to it. So High we'll click the guy. Production complex. Once you're within 25 Alpha. kilometers of a station, you can press the letter C to hail it. You are talking to the automated interaction Now there's system. multiple people your on most stations and more than one mission can be assigned at a time. We're going to ask this guy what his mission is, what he wants us to do. do I'm looking for a job. You think right moment. I have work of much honor for you. I am looking for a ship worthy of the split. Would Why, like yes, what's the job? Details? I will transmit the data to you. Okay, now, so this is a deliver ship mission. This means you either have to own or be able to buy the mission that, or the uh, ship that's required and deliver it to the desired station within the specified amount of time. You are paid for the ship and you're paid an extra reward for doing the job. Now, we can't do this one because we don't have any, we don't have enough money to even buy a ship and they wouldn't let us buy it anyway because we have no ranking. So we can't do the mission. Oops. So I'm gonna say no, th no time for that, goodbye. So, yeah, let's just head to Power Circle. Now, CETA will also turn off if you get too close to any other objects to give you an opportunity, in theory, to dodge it before you hit it and explode into a lot of little tiny pieces that they can't reassemble. Sometimes it's enough, other times you're screwed and you're going to die anyway. We're just going to skirt this asteroid here ship the first layer of paint off our shiny new ship. Alright, now we're going to head to Power Circle. Eight we're just going to be doing circle. a bunch of simple trades here. And eventually we'll hit a point where it gets either boring, or other ships in the system start competing more aggressively with us, and that does happen, believe it or not. And it becomes difficult or impossible to make any trades that are worth any money. What'll start to happen is either all the stations that produce energy will get bought out so they don't have any energy cells to sell, or the stations that need energy will just get topped up by other merchants and they don't need any energy. All right. Entering system, Here's power circle. power circle. Now you can barely see them just now. You'll see them as we get closer. But there are two stations right here. There's a solar power plant right there. And there's some, I think that's a cattle ranch or something like that, right over there. We're going to fly towards those first because they're the closest to us. Okay. Cattle Another man. useful keystroke L is the letter Alpha. U. This gives you information about your current target. Right now they're loaded up on energy cells, which means uh, right here, their stock is very full. That means they're not going to pay very much if we sell them energy cells, and they can't take too many anyway. So they're not a very good match right now. We're not going to sell to them just at the moment. Now, of course, the other end of that is got to buy the damn things before we can sell them. So here we go. So now, there's also a money icon here, too. So that means there's some kind of trade mission available. You are talking to the automated... Ah, uh, nuts. Unfortunately, military transport, or any kind no, of transport mission, we can't do just yet because our ship is lacking a cargo life support system. Otherwise, if you put people in your hold, they can't breathe, they die, you fail your mission, cops get all pissed off, it's just no fun. So we'll, let's just skip that one and look at this as far as trade goes. Okay, now this station is selling energy cells for 13 credits. They go as low as 12, and they go as high as 18. Let's make our first trade a good one. So let's look for a station that's actually full so we can scam uh, uh, energy cells out of them for 12 credits apiece. Got to stretch our dollars as much, or our credits, excuse me, as far as they'll go. Because we don't have that many. Should be getting in range of these two pretty quickly. Go. Solar power plant. Oh, no, he's selling at 16 gamma. credits. That's no good. Let's head over to this guy. 
it. Selling for Solar 18. Power plant, El Beta. We picked a bad time to jump into this system, didn't we? Let's see about this one. 15. Solar power plant, M Alpha. That's equally unpleasant. Hmm. Well, I guess 13's as good as it's gonna get. Now, it's always possible that by the time we get to him, I'll hit Shift D again here to dock. By the time we get to him, uh, he may produce enough energy cells to drop the price to 12 credits. That, uh, that does happen. These plants are actually manufacturing and operating all the time, as long as they've got the resources they need. So, that's why they are, uh, their situation and their available stock and their available supply changes so readily. Let's take a bit of a risk here. I'm going to hit backspace and cancel that dock. Autopilot off. We're just going to sit here and spin Sita for a bit to see if we can't uh, scoop in here, swoop in once the credits hit 12 instead of 13 for these energy cells. There we go. Now let's dock. Damn it all. Docking granted. Now the Auto only reason that's a risk granted. is that there could be another ship already docking, getting ready to buy all the stock. And when that happens, you're screwed. But that didn't happen. I pressed the end key to buy as many as possible. The Argon Federation welcomes you aboard. Connection to local trading network. Yay! You are being cool. promoted. Now, when I say buy as much as possible, that's restrained by two things. There are three things. First is the available supply. They may not have as many as you can take. The second is of your available storage. You may not have enough room to take everything they have. And then your available credits. You might not have enough money to actually buy everything they've got. And that's the case for us. We could only afford 1,127 energy cells. Now we paid 12 credits apiece for them. The goal is to find somebody who will buy them at 18 credits apiece. So let's go take a look around the rest of the system. See if we can't find somebody that needs energy cells. He's still paying only 13 Cattle for them, that's no good. L -alpha. There's an ore mine, but he's only paying 14. Mine, now that is profitable, alpha. but not really profitable enough. Not really worth it. Let's check him one more time. Yeah, he's full. He's not going to run out of energy anytime soon. Alpha. So we'll just cruise through the system here and see what other uh, stations are available. Now this is a trading station here. Free and they trading do station. not, this one at least, is not buying or selling energy cells. So they're no good to us. Just FYI, energy cells are not even close to the only thing you can trade in the game. You can trade pretty much any commodity and a whole bunch of other stuff too, including stuff that your ships can equip. You can build stations that produce a lot of the different stuff you can trade. We're just doing energy cells for now because it's fairly simple. He's paying 18 credits per, so let's go do this. Let's go fly over here. Now, this is a this is an ore mine, and I don't see it on this side. So, oh, there it is. Actually, I do see it. So let's dock. With the different mines, like ore and silicon, you definitely want to get as close to the station as you can manually before you trigger autopilot because you don't want it to try to feel its way around the entire asteroid to get to the station. You'll just go nuts. And it'll take about ten times as long as it really should. Alright. Let's sell this energy stuff. Hit the home button. Successfully done. Sweet. On behalf of our president and senator, the and a connection to So we turned 10,000 credits into 20. That's double your cash. Not bad. Now we should be able to fill up our entire cargo bay. Let's see who's got the best stock now. You can also use the uh, sector map to check all of this. Press enter. U. That's his status. Press escape to come back. Arrow keys move up and down, of course. He's selling for 18. He's selling for 19. Wow, I didn't know they could go up that high. He's selling at 15. Let's go navigate towards him. 
Stalking granted. Autopilot activated. Fifteen's not a good price at all. Hopefully it'll drop a little bit by the time we get there. Now, if we don't see any good deals in the system, we're not obligated to stay here, of course. We're always free to just wander off and go exploring other systems if we like. I'm going to shut off autopilot and park here for a minute. Autopilot. Let's see what he wants. New mission, it looks like. Solar power plant. You are talking to the automated inter... That's something is I nope. Anti-smuggling is not you fun right now. We're not fast enough. Let's see Solar if his prices drop plant. any. XL he's about to, Gamma. I think, get somebody docked and he's going to buy out everything he's got. Yep, so his price just went up. Well... That sucks. Yeah, he's selling at 15. Solar I think these other guys are still L high. Yep, 18, 19. Okay, enough of that. Let's go look around a different system. Let's go to the west gate. My neighbors are playing loud music again. You know you're getting old when that crap starts to bother you. It's not that it bothers me, actually. It's just that the music they listen to sucks. And that's really the main issue. <laughs> Alright, we're going to head through the west gate. I forget what the hell's through here. Oh, okay. Apparently there are three worlds. Gate, three worlds. We'll see what's through this way. Come on, let's go. Now, like Michael, po Michael pointed out, excuse me, like he pointed out, there's uh, this is a bit of a slow start too, but it ultimately is not as slow as the uh, start that I was demonstrating in the Getting Started guide. Um, you spend the first couple hours making trades, just barely squeaking by. And then finally, once you're once you have enough money to upgrade your ship to the point that it's got a jump drive and its cargo bay is maxed out and you can carry people and you can jump around really quickly, you can basically do almost all the missions in the game except the combat missions. And you can start doing cargo runs or freight runs for some massive profit. And uh, that's what we're going to try to aim for here. Now, he is we very hungry L for Alpha. energy. So he's out. He's got nothing left. It's almost tempting to turn back around and go back and buy some energy cells. But it's not as profitable as it could be because nobody in Power Circle is selling at a good enough price to make that worth it. So we'll just fly around and see what else we have in the system. Part of this early game is uh, exploration. You have to map out systems and see what's here, because you don't know. Wow, he's thirsty too. Cattle Ranch, M Alpha. You are talking. Spade it out. I've got a lead. Nope. Might... I'm coding data for Okay, these, these green Correct, bricks, that icon means they want you to build a station. That can be a daunting task since we don't have any stations or anything to build them with. So we can't do those missions right now, obviously. Wow, they're thirsty too. 18. Okay. I'm actually really thinking we should go back and pick up some energy cells. Just to make some profit here while we're playing. Now, unlike the Discoverer, of course, the... Mercury can only go 100 meters a second, so we are dealing with a slower ship overall. And that's why the <clears throat> uh, opening game is a little bit uh, slow on this. With this approach, versus using a Discoverer. Of course, you're not fighting nearly as much, and that makes things a lot easier. A little bit less stressful, too. You can kind of just take your time, fly around, take in the sights, get to know the game and its interface. 
closest one selling for Solar 16. Power plant. M Alpha. How much are you selling for? 16. Solar power plant. 14. L Gamma. 16. 18. 16. Who had 14? That guy. Okay. Let us haul ass so that we can start hauling energy. Now, assuming he hasn't just gotten bought out, his supply should be. Ah, oh, damn it, he did. Someone just. Yeah, someone just went and bought everything from him. Or bought a bunch. Jerks. Okay, let's see what it's looking like now. He is at 14. Let's dock at that one. Oh, wait a minute. Ah. Granted. Duh. Okay, nope. Activated. Nothing changed. I'm just an idiot. Solar I had the wrong system, wrong uh, station target. Alright, so we're going to go park over here and buy some more energy cells and go sell them to those thirsty stations in the next system over. Hit the brakes, man! Urgh, crunch. Right, enough of that. Ooh, it Brent went down to 13. Sweet. On behalf of our president and senator, the Argon Federation. And connection to local trading network. Another promotion. You are being promoted. Alright, let's get the hell away from here. Okay, so we should check this system first before we go to the other. They're buying at 16, that's no good. Buying at 14, 15, 16, 16, 19. Let's hit that guy up. That's good profit. Docking granted. Autopilot activated. Oh, and we're right here, too. Check that out. Uh oh. There's other ships docking, though. Well, we'll find out. Now, once we get a docking computer, this kind of problem won't be as bad either. We can actually beat the other freighters. Damn! Successfully docked. Nope. Well, we got beat to the punch. Senator, the Argon Federation. Okay. So what else? Local trading network nope. established. Fifteen. Fifteen. Sixteen. That's not bad. Sixteen. Twelve. Nope. All right. Let's go back over uh, to the other system. We want the West Gate. You can set autopilot to fly through a gate for you, but you don't actually want to let it do it. Just have it fly you to the gate and then aim straight for the gate instead of doing this go down to the bottom and come in along the side crap that the autopilot likes to do. Just have it point you in the right direction and then do the flying yourself. Just a bit quicker. Autopilot off. Now most of these ships that are doing freight runs here in the system are staying in the system, so if we're lucky, we can sell these for 19 credits in the next system over at those really hungry stations. Cross your fingers. Yep, he's still hungry. Three worlds. Let's go! Farm L Alpha. The autopilot also behaves a bit strangely near jump gates, too, so that's why he just did that. Huh. That looked like there was something to pick up. We'll have to remember that when we uh, depart the station here in a minute. Right, 
D to trade. All right. 30,000 credits. That's a good amount of profit. On behalf of our president and Yay. connection to local trading network Petty vendor. You okay. Let's go see what that was. Where's that little dot? I know I saw it. That was a uh, you know, something that you could pick up, like a missile or a, you know, something worth money, or something that you could shoot. That's always fun. So anyway, now that we're nice and disoriented, let's go look through the rest of the system here and see what's here. Got a gate to the left. Keep that in mind. Why my voice is cracking today? I swear I'm not a teenager. I'm actually 34 years old. I must be tired. Or just congested. Because I sound like a little teenage punk. I mean, hopefully with a better vocabulary. Let's see where this gate goes. That's south. Okay, good for them. <laughs> Gate, cloud base, northwest. Pointing. I think I'm pointed west. Oh. No, but that's a direction we want to go anyway. Let's see what north... Where, yeah, let's see what's to the north. Eh, he's kind of low on energy, too. Wheat farm. M lots Beta. of asteroids in this system, too, so there's lots of opportunity here to make some money later on set up some mining operations here. Three worlds, okay. <clears throat> He's also Eight buying at 19. L Sweet. Uh, the sun is only 100% here, but we could set up solar power plants and make some good money in this system, even despite the low sun rating. But that's going to come a few episodes later. we got to get some money first. That's Boron territory. Let's get some Game. friendship Game going with these end. guys, too. Whoosh. This is a good system to map out just a little tiny bit. Not probably very much we can actually buy here at the moment. But there's a military outpost. Actually, they might let us buy a triplex scanner. In fact, I think they will. We should have enough ranking with them. They're buying energy cells. Curious. Let's dock. Why not? This will at least expand our uh, scanning radius. That's always helpful. Let's us size up a system much more quickly. Oh, there's a mission there, too. Yeah, I don't want to do it either. <laughs> That's a transport mission, but again, we don't have the capacity to carry people. Hey. Oh, damn it. Military outpost. Dock, please. There we go. Docking granted. Autopilot activated. I think this is the Boron home system, actually. Yay, we can buy a triplex scanner. Cool! Successfully docked. Queen Atreus and the Kingdom of Boron bid you a peaceful truck connection to local trading network established. Hm. We can buy fighter drones too. That'd be funny. Don't have anything to defend just yet, but that'll be handy a little later on. Okay. That was uneventful. So let's head east. See what we can see. The only problem with some of the boron space is that uh, it's all foggy, kind of hard to see. But that's why we have a triplex scanner, because it sees through the fog. Oh, 
incidentally. There's our expanded scanning radius. It's quite a bit bigger now. We can basically see most of a system now as soon as we jump in. Let's go for this side. Welcome to Ralk's Drift. Entering Weirdest system. name Ralk's in the galaxy. Drift. Or one of them, anyway. Got a bunch of missions here, too. Our triplex scanner can actually scan so far that we can't communicate with Royal some of the furthest Ball stations it sees, station. which is just funny. No covert missions, thank you. You are talking? What do you Mixer. Okay, so they buy wheat. Pay attention here because we can actually also start buying wheat. They need energy cells, they need plankton. And they have not much of either. So that could be good to know. No, I don't want to do an abandoned ship mission just yet. You are talking. What do you have? Do you wish ship to take plants. The job? Again, they use energy. Bofu, which is a Alpha. food product made by the boron and silicon wafers, but they're pretty full up. No combat missions. We have no combat capability aboard this ship. <laughs> you are talking. Start mixery. M Alpha. He needs energy. Crystal Fab M Alpha. That's a ship. Boron, rapid He's got a Kraken. money symbol, so he might actually have a mission we can do. Computer I'd like plan. to find a Beta. transport mission, or transport stuff from A to B. Stuff we can handle. It's the damn meat that we can't move. More passenger transport. Bugger all. You are talking? Ooh, I think I saw a solar power plant on the sky. Did I? Nope, I'm just hallucinating. Cool. Drugs are awesome, kids. <clears throat> Generally, if you come across a station that makes a commodity and it's got a full supply of it, you, you're generally safe to buy it. And you'll be able to find somebody who will, who will buy it from you. Generally. Just uh, you know, make sure it's not going to break the bank. Quantum, Quantum tubes. Cube Eventually, Alpha. that will be very useful too, but not for right now. We'll just fly into the next system. I think there's uh, some solar plants in the next system. We can start scooping up energy and bringing it back over here to make some mint. We'll also start to make our way south again, too, when we're done here with this run. Uh, the TerraCorp, TerraCorp headquarters, or TerraCorp, whatever, headquarters, has uh, jump drives for sale, and those are handy. Entering system, All right, what do we got? Queen's Space. Queen's Space. I don't know that I really want to be in the Queen's Space, but okay. Looks like a solar plant there on the left. Thinking it is. Let's head that way. Ooh, what do you want? Oh, you're too far away. Dab. Silicon mine. L beta. Nope, not buying any sector maps. I can do that myself. Oh. To the, what do you oh, and they've got a full supply. Solar power plant M Alpha. Let's go load up before someone else gets it better, gets the same idea. See what I mean by the fog? It just Stop makes things a little bit harder to see. Autopilot activated. Damn it! I saw somebody park. Come 
on, get us there. I'm gonna start shooting down competitors here once I get guns. <laughs> Kidding. You don't need to. You can cheat with a docking computer anyway. We'll go scoop one of those up so shortly here too. Sweet. Load it up. All right. Between Atreus and the Kingdom of Let's Bar, save the game too while we're here, to local just in case. Like to make sure we don't uh, lose too much progress if the game gets crashy. Not that it does that at all, ever. <clears throat> yeah, I'm not bitter. Okay, he's buying at 19, so let's just dock right over here. Again, my cats are being assholes. Sorry for the background noise. It's actually really funny. <laughs> All right, we'll pull up here. We're going to swing all the way around, aren't we? Okay. Now, you still buying? He is. Sweet! Successfully docked. Atreus and the kingdom and he also still buying at 19. Let's go back and do that again. That was very lucrative. You are being promoted. Uh, I think it's you selling it. Nope, you're selling. Royal Boron Trading Station. You're selling for 12, right? Yes. Okay. Go to the dock over there. Oh crap. Oh, okay. <laughs> I get nervous when the autopilot has to go straight through an asteroid because sometimes it does. Uh oh, we're gonna die. Oh, nope, I guess not. We lived. <laughs> you can tell I'm a total optimist here when it comes to the uh, stupid AI. <laughs> Wrong button. Uh, some jerk just bought a bunch. Come on, quit bogarting my good deals. is still a good price. Successfully docked. Yeah. Between Atreus and the Kingdom of Boron. And a connection to local trading network established. Notice we keep you getting promoted rather promoted. quickly as we do all this. Okay. Who needs some stuff? He needs some stuff. 17 for him. Team for him. Who's closer? You're closer. Let's go. Now, let's see if there's any ships moving towards him. Docking granted. Nope, those Auto look like they are active. moving towards the gate. Good, good, good. Good. Still buying at 19. That's all we care about. The first few trades are painful. You're only making about 20 to 30,000 credits of profit each time, and it takes you a while. But your rank goes up quickly, and you only have to do a bunch, really, a few of these little kind of fiddly trades before you start making enough money to afford more. Like this, we can we can probably take this 45k and go buy cargo expansion. But and a connection to don't think we really need to just yet. Established. All right. Whoa! Stop! 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 
almost flew straight into that asteroid. Bad move. Alright. Selling at 16, selling at 15, and selling at 16. So, no more fun and games for this system. Let's just head east and see what else is in the next system over. Let's see what our status here is. Okay, so we are a... We've got a lot of a, a well, decent ranking with people here. Trusted by the Boron just a little bit. The Argons are okay with us. We are apprentice traders. We are harmless. We don't fire weapons, which is... We haven't fired at anybody yet, so uh, we can't be can't have any combat rank. And that's for the best, trust me. All right, what do we got going here? Entering system, Menelaus's frontier. You are talking to the anime we assist. I have a task yeah. that would suit you well. I must have this made through. We need to lift, but we don't have any skill on your part. The Is there something again? Let's keep going Start east. We eventually will end up in a system where we can just buy that cargo life support and take care of that problem. I think we'll do that and. Maybe look for one of those missions and call it quits here. We're coming up on probably, I think, 45 minutes now into this. He needs energy. And here we are without any. Biogas factory. M. Alpha. It figures. Royal Boron Trading Station. Hey, he needs Both a freighter. Chemical Lab M Alpha. You are talking to the Queen's with space. Timing. Please review what we need. Would you like to have this jump? Ooh, that's one system over. We can do that. Let's try that. Okay, so I'm gonna say yes. You are talking. Guidance immediately kicks on, showing us which gate to fly through to get to our destination. And uh, it'll point to the right station here in a minute too. The only thing I'm worried about is the time we have available for it, because time moves faster in Sita, so we've only got 13 minutes left to accomplish this. Now 12 minutes. 11 minutes. Don't know that we'll make it. Because we still have to park at both stations. So we could run out here, run out of time. That could suck. Then the Boron won't like us at all. Kilometers away, I think we're not going to make it. System, Queen's space, Royal Boron Should not have taken station. that one. Yep, we're down to eight minutes, thirty seconds. Docking granted. Auto eight minutes. Activated. Seven thirty. Seven. Six thirty. Nope, we're not even gonna get the stuff on the ship before we run out of time. Seven, six minutes. Five minutes thirty. Five minutes. Four thirty. Four minutes. Three thirty. Three. Two thirty. Two. Well, we're gonna get some free stuff. Yeah, 
We have a minute and 30 to get back to the same station we hailed a minute ago. Not even close. So, what did we just get in our freight? Oh, luxury food stuff's great. We can't even sell this crap. Oh well. Oh, it gave us extra time. Gate. Three Menelaus minutes, 49 Sanji. seconds, that's not enough. Unfortunately. Won't even make it to the gate in time. Damn. Fail. We suck. Now we've got all this food we can't sell. Well, maybe, maybe we'll find somebody that'll buy it. There's a little more time. That's it. Well, that's what you get for trying to take on something too early, too fast. See how it looks when it fails. I could be a jerk and reload that save, but I don't want to do that. We can make up that hit pretty quickly. Let's just carry on. Be selling a ship. Whenever you see a ship with the uh, money icon, it means they're selling either uh, scans or a ship. Boron, Marco, Sentinel. Ugh, I don't have the money for that. Bummer. What do you require? I am transmitting the information you require now. Don't know what kind of useful or utility that ship would have, but whatever. So really the first couple of hours of this, uh, this start when you're trying to be just a merchant is uh, exploration, finding good deals, finding where to buy low, sell high, that, that standard stuff. And uh, I think you get the idea of how it works here. I think what I will do... Yeah, we're, let's go find that um, life support thing and we'll try some more missions here, but that might be for the next episode. Start Mixery L Gamma. Really? You are talking? I may not be able to fly you somewhere. That's too much for my mind to take. What a jerk. You can sit and spin in that station, buddy. Hope you get crammed into the cargo bay of a discoverer. Yeah, I think we'll just pick up that part here in this episode, and then uh, in part two we will actually start trying to fly some of those missions. You'll notice some similarities here. I did this, uh, a run similar to this in the first episode, or in the, the first series. First episode with the Getting Started Guide. Entering system. What's in this Zero's system? Buxoid. Taladianium. Say that fast three times. Taladianium foundry. Yay, Talati! Taladi trading station. No solar plants, huh? Eh, bummer. Flower farm, M Alpha. It's kind of frustrating that there's uh, only a few places in the whole game that sells the cargo life support system, jump drives, docking computers, all that stuff. And they're in different areas, so to really fully out equip one ship. You've either got to build your own warehouse and store that, and that requires the player headquarters, or you just have to fly around and pick everything up by hand, and that takes forever. Oh, you'll gain, but not until I'm ready, guys. Entering not a long system, system or big system. Gain. They 
just eat energy cells. Flower farms, that is. Flower farm and he's and kinda hungry. Alpha. Flower farm <laughs> and Dream Farm. Farm. These guys make weed. They don't want to call Flower it that, but they make weed. Alpha. Dream Dream it high, man. Alpha. Yeah, you can totally tell I'm a stoner. Quit those flybys. Hey, Lottie, trading station. My computer's paranoid enough. Oh, sorry. Bliss places make the actual weed. Space weed. That stuff's illegal, by the way, in Argon space, so uh, if you get caught flying around with it, they get pissy and they, cargo, they confiscate your cargo and all that crap. Not a good time. Just want to get a scan of that station over there. What are you? He eats flowers and energy. Alright, good to know. Hopefully you're starting to see a pattern here that most of these stations have uh, dependencies on each other. Ooh, he's got a money mission. Misplace L Beta. You are talking to the automated. Do you require? We thank you for your call. This is what I require. Unless I have underestimated you, this I guess may prove a difficult mission. Do you wish to profit from this job? The ship. Nope, doesn't have any stocked. Nope, nobody has enough in stock. Can't do it. Fighter drones are handy once you start pissing off the pirates or whoever, or become an appealing target for drone drone. production facilities. Uh, even in an undefended Alpha. ship with no weaponry, you just launch a handful of drones and they go pick the fights while you run away. It's a pretty good bargain. If you install carrier command software, your ship can even uh, recover the fighters, tell them to come back, refuel them, and all that fun stuff. So they're reusable. Otherwise, they're not. They're fire once and you're done. They do stick around, and they, they are still useful after they've been launched. They just will only ever be in that system, and eventually they run out of fuel and die. Kind of sad. Only if you personify or anthropomorphize, you know, inanimate objects. <laughs> okay, so there's some solar plants here. Entering Let's system. see if any stations Family. are thirsty. Oui. I love it when people cannot read my away messages, or my chat status messages. Selling for 12. All right, cool. Let's pick him up. Solar power plant, El Beta. Trading port. He doesn't need anything. Docking granted. Autopilot activated. Chelt Space Aquarium. He's okay on energy. Another solar plant. Incidentally, if you haven't noticed, you can use CETA inside dialogues, which is pretty handy. Who's that? Oh, that's an equipment dock, okay. Good thing we're docking right now. We're safe in a station. Ha ha ha. Hail nothing, you bastard. Successfully All done. Right. All hail the family full of full of stuff. The split dynasty welcomes Energy you on cells. board. Connection to cool. local trading network established. Now, does anybody need any juice here? Damn. 
Let's hope those pirates are not interested in us. Wow, they uh, are attacking the solar plants. Or at least doing a flyby. Mm, I'm going to give them a wide berth. I don't want to play with them. in the middle of a fight with somebody else. Okay, good. That means they're not fighting with us. Damn, there come more. Shell, this is an evil system. Aquarium, M Alpha. be if they weren't uh, really close to me. If we had a jump drive, this kind of thing wouldn't be a problem to begin with, but we don't. At least not yet. We'll fix that. Find somebody to dump our uh, energy cells off on here before uh, too far. There's some solar plants in this system too. Yeah, 150%. There's always a solar plant in these. Entering system. You can find out the rating of, a, of the suns in a system by pressing comma when you're in it. And it shows up right here where it says suns 150%. And that's usually a good sign that there's going to be uh, solar power plants in it. Okay, now we actually want to go to this gate way the hell over here. Let's see if we can't find someone to sell stuff to, though. Not him, he's full. Uh, let's go this way. Sun oil Get a better scan of the system. Alpha. There's a bunch of solar plants. Well, two anyway. One there and one there. Saw something over here. There. You! He's buying at 13, or 15. Sun oil refinery, L beta. This is a big system. Oh, there's another solar plant. Trading station that way. Can't communicate with him yet. Not quite close enough. Taylorty trading station. No covert stuff. Violent stuff. Don't have any guns. You are talking okay. to the Okay, just head on head head this way. Get our cargo at support. And then call it quits so for this one. Talking. Wow, they appeared out of nowhere. The vault. Not the vault. The vault. Emphasis on the the. Gate the vault. It's been a long week, so my witty banter may not be at 100%. That or I just may not be very funny. Take your pick. System, 15 minutes. 
You are talking to the uh, other. Do you require? No, well, thank I you. don't think I This no, no, is no, what I time. require. Have I provided something of interest? He's okay on energy. Oh, let's check him too. Well, he's buying energy. We can at least Tabby make some money that way. Complex. Alpha. Now, we were right at the gate for that one, but I still don't think there would have been enough time to get that mission done, because it's going to take at Alpha. least five in-game minutes just to granted. get to this station. And that, as you've seen, that's more than enough to kill it. Let's see what this mission is. Eh, can't, can't reach them yet. There we go. Medium shield production complex alpha. Ah, uh, I don't have enough energy cells to sell them. A profit for information that sucks. You I'd love to do that, but I don't have enough. It's being transmitted now. You might encounter some tricky moments. Would you choose to take further? Pro Just a piece at a time. We have to fix what's wrong with our ship. Let's go find <clears throat> whatever the hell that is. Right, the cargo bay life support thingy. The thingy. High tech uh, names here. Gotta, gotta, gotta stay up to date here on the Telari accurate terminology. Equipment dog. Oh, that's the cargo Crystal life support system. What do you sell? M Alpha. We sell lots of stuff. Telari Carrier command. I think we do want that. Yes, let's pick that up. Alright, we've got two equipment stops in this dog. system. Do I wish they had a docking computer? Oh, do I wish. Docking granted. Autopilot activated. Docking computers let you skip this entire docking sequence. Get within five kilometers, hit the same docking hotkey again. Boom! You're instantly docked. All right, we want carrier command. And... Successfully done. I think that's it. On behalf of Chairman CEO, the Talati Company, we should... Connection to local trading network established. Okay, yeah, let's go get the other... Well, let's go get what we came here for. That's not what we want. Where the hell is he? Oh, there he is. Heavy weapons complex alpha. Ooh, he's got Gauss a cannon too. ammunition forge alpha. Teladi trading station. Ooh, same thing. Don't have enough. Damn it. Yeah, there's 150% sun shield. There should be. You are talking. I have to think there'd be a solar power plant. There is the occasional system where they don't, they don't uh, meet expectations. They actually don't have stations where there should be some. Those are profit opportunities. If you build a station here that generates electricity, generates energy, and there aren't any others, you can corner that market pretty quick. Teladi Trading Station. All right, let's dock here. Get that docking or. Uh, Cargo Bay Life Support, and we will call this episode done. Docking granted. Autopilot activated. Okay. Let's also boost the uh, Cargo Bay a little bit here. On behalf Ford of Chairman CEO, the Teladi Company wishes... Spend $30,000. Connection to local trading network established. little bit of extra space. 
All right, so we're just going to save and call it quits. Uh, in the next episode of this, we will hunt around for some taxi Cargo missions bay extension. and Install. slowly drift our way towards a docking computer, or a place who sells docking computers, that is. And what else? I think those are the... Oh, and a jump drive. We get those two pieces, make some sales on the way. We'll be able to tackle just about any mission that isn't combat-related. Uh that they throw at us. So hopefully this is a good starting point for the real Humble Merchant start. And uh, stay tuned for part two in uh, probably a day or two, if, if that. And we will get right back into this. Until then, thanks for watching, folks. As always, leave comments. I, I love reading them all. I've actually gotten lots of good feedback so far on the uh, uh, Albion Prelude Getting Started guide. And I really do appreciate the feedback, so I like can't thank you enough for it. Keep it coming, and we will see you next time. Thanks again.